Alright guys, welcome back here to the King Ellie Show. I'll be your host, James People. We got the microphone here. A little bit more reason, um, reinventing, revamping here in the studio that we're going to be working in for now. But, sorry about no videos yesterday, guys. Pretty still depressed after that announcement that WrestleMania is not taking place at Tampa. I mean, I made a bunch of prediction videos for you guys on Behind the Curtain, Episode 3, Part 1 and Part 2, and also on the um, AJ and... Um, not AJ, it was um, John Cena and Bray Wyatt um, face to face confrontation from Friday Night SmackDown about it probably get postponed maybe till maybe May 17th, maybe to June. But we forgot some people. Vincent Man's a very, 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 very greedy person. And whatever he wants, he usually gets people. He usually gets people with the announcement. Uh, I did a video for you guys. It was like really instant reaction I gave you guys. About the Russ Man being taking place at the Performance Center April 4th. And then later today, there's more news coming out about maybe Mania is going to get postponed until June 7th. And it'll be at Madison Square Garden. There's rumors about that happening. And then I was just sitting there watching um, Undisputed. Uh, Skip and Shannon were still on. 7 o'clock coming. Props to them for even still doing a podcast. You know, with all this T-virus is going on out here in the world. Um, literally breaking news. Robert Gronkowski announced what we've been saying for what the past three or four years with these Mania going like, what was the last one that was like really, 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 really super long? It was WrestleMania 32. They went into midnight. They went into midnight. Remember that was the one with The Rock was like showing up. Then he showed up extra late. And then Triple H and Roman went into midnight. And I think also the one with um, when uh, Roman Reigns and Undertaker 30 was at 33 in Orlando. That one was like almost midnight too. I mean like, so we're like saying the last couple years like, why does Vince Man not do a two-night WrestleMania? A two-night WrestleMania. Lo and behold, with this T-virus going on in the world, this is what makes Vince McMahon make it a two-night WrestleMania. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, people. All the stuff we've been asking for, a two-night WrestleMania, we're getting a two-night WrestleMania. Now, let's run over this card here. Right now we have scheduled for WrestleMania 36. This is crazy, man. Let's go on this card here. I check the on the card right now. Top of my head. Okay, we got Shayna Baszler versus Becky Lynch. All right, Baszler versus Becky Lynch. That's one. Lesnar versus McIntyre. That's two people. We got um, Orton versus Edge. That's three. We got Rhea versus Charlotte. That's four. Goldberg versus Roman. That's five. Cena versus um, the Fiend. That's six. AJ versus Undertaker, that's seven. Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins, that's eight. We got eight matches so far. Now, plenty of people after we got Monday Night Raw, which was Jesus, whatever, man. <laughs> I think Vince is gonna take this. We, we've been saying we should just take a break, bro. This is if we're gonna keep getting these um other wrestle other wrestling matches that we already seen. I mean, look, there's only one match on Monday Night Raw. There was only one match on Monday Night Raw. That match was like what four or five minutes? With, uh, what was it, Siamas and Rey Mysterio, it was four to five minutes. So, most people that I was watching through JD's review, um, BC, Cronin, they all said, just keep it at eight matches. I don't care to see Bailey versus a uh, six-pack challenge. I don't care to see that. They pretty much were cutting the, they were cutting the um, Mandy Rose, um, Tucker, and Otis versus Ziggler, uh, Rude, and Sonya Deville. They cut that match, okay? Pointless tag team matches. The Street Profits versus whoever. Who cares? Um, I already told her, yes. One second, guys. This is realistically, in the moment, replying to people. This is crazy. <sighs> yeah. Okay, in the moment of replying to work, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, again. Okay. Keep it to eight matches, okay? We all said keep it to eight matches. No point having it go on for freaking five or six hours. Okay, listen here, people. What else do you guys want to see? The, the tag team division is pointless. Um, what else are you going to add on this card? What, like, okay, Edge vs. Orton, we already added that. What else are you adding to this card? <laughs> what else are you adding to this card? 
Besides Edge and Randy Orton that's not official. What else do you want to add? Okay, the Battle Royals. Nobody cares about the Battle Royals. Um, Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan. Probably going to add Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan. Okay, you can do Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan. Okay, that's in, that'll be nine matches. What else, people? What else? Okay, are you going to add the Hall of Fame on one of these shows? Maybe you do the Hall of Fame and then some other shows and some other matches on Saturday night? Okay, you can do that. NXT TakeOver? TakeOver is already reported. It's going to be Wednesday be the Wednesday before WrestleMania, whatever. You're going to have TakeOver on a Wednesday normal schedule show. What else are you adding that you need to make this a two-night event? Oh, my gosh. I'm still so disappointed that Vince Man really did not push back WrestleMania. I'm just still disappointed they didn't push it back. Because literally, you're going to have WrestleMania in front of an empty crowd. Monday Night Raw sucked. Friday SmackDown, we gave them a pass because it's something new, something different. Monday Night Raw was terrible. Edge, you can say Edge's promo was good. Edge's promo was good. I, li I liked Edge's promo. Undertaker and AJ Styles, decent promo. But you really going to have these people wrestle in front of a nobody. Now again, we don't know how much worse the T-Virus is going to get. They reported T-Virus is going to get even much worse than what it is already right now. So, you're going to still go ahead with WrestleMania against other against the government's will. We'll see how worse this T-Virus gets people. But I'm just still surprised McMahon did not push it back at least till June. Like, again, like I said, you could have had Monday and SmackDown be like, you drop all the feuds. You drop all the feuds right now. Give us something different. I can understand John Cena's doing a movie. What movie is John Cena going to be doing right now with this T-Virus going on? What production is going to be doing with the T-Virus going on? What movies is he going to be producing? What? What movies? Tell me, people. Goldberg. What is Goldberg doing right now that he could be doing in June? Working on some cars? <laughs> like, really, people, you could have postponed Mania until June. Like, I don't see what's the big deal is. Now, everybody like me is waiting for these refunds. Again, I guess I'll just save up for L.A. next year. Like, I'm still going to WrestleMania. I am making that my mission. Still going to WrestleMania and see Undertaker wrestle. And maybe NC The Rock. The Rock and Undertaker are the only two people I've not seen. I've seen Stone Cold, I've seen all the other people except for the, the Rock and Undertaker. So maybe that was God, maybe that was God saying, you know what? S get back your money. Again, <laughs> Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre. Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. You know what I'm saying? Is that WrestleMania main event? You know what I'm saying? Maybe next year we get the Roman Reigns versus The Rock match. And maybe next year we get. Who knows? We get maybe we get something better in LA. Because you know in LA, you can't bullshit people in LA. So maybe next year in LA we get some better main events. Maybe we get what Adam Cole versus AJ Styles next year WrestleMania, or we get some, we get Becky Lynch. No, 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 no. How about this? Picture this, guys. Maybe next year in LA we get, um, we get The Rock versus The Rock versus Roman Reigns. Uh, Shayna Baszler versus uh, Ronda Rousey. AJ Styles versus Adam Cole. Okay, Undertaker versus. Alistair Black. That sounds way better than this year, does it not, people? <laughs> Again, maybe it's God telling us something, you know what? Save your money, people. You're going to get a piss poor show. Next year in LA, you get a better show. So I just want to give you guys a quick update with the breaking news. Mania is going to be two nights. Whippy freaking do. I'm, I mean, literally. <laughs> with no crowd in attendance, people, who knows what's going to happen? If you like the video, guys, comment down below. Subscribe. Social media links. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat are all down below. I'll be right back to give you guys at least one reaction video for today, and we'll do some more videos tomorrow for you guys. But that is the breaking news. WrestleMania will be a two-night event. What we've been asking for the past three or four years ends up happening, and then no audience. Ah, whatever, guys. Be back. <laughs>